Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so, sorry, I'm thinking. So what we're doing right now is we're going back to what uh, <clears throat> somebody else said in the chat. We're gonna be making a persistent data interface. And I had, I had to do this because the old way I was saving all my data, it was not going to scale well for the project. John Ribeiro, yo, what's up, man? Hey, your first shot of the night, congratulations. How is you doing? So I'm trying to stay, save like story data for our NPCs right now. So basically, we have NPC stories and we have current story. And I think we're actually we need another current story. So we're gonna have a list of stories and then we will change our current story index and then we'll have a current story. Uh, 
then over in, ah, we're going to have to change something up here. Somewhere in input manager. Or no, it's uh, interact. On interact with NPC, yeah, so this is going to be current story. About the new unity of pricing, I was looking forward to seeing your opinion. Oh, have I? Have we not talked about that yet? Us two? Well, hey, they, um... Before I express my opinion, um, they did release something on their Twitter. We have heard you. We apologize for the confusion and angst of runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday College. We're listening, talking to our team members, community customers, and partners. And we'll be making changes to the policy. We will share an update in a couple of days. Thank you for honest critical feedback. So we'll see, dude. We'll see what they do, man. I hope they fucking backtrack that shit. Cause I'm just, I'm just so sad about the whole Unity like game dev Fallout, man. Like the community Fallout. It kind of sucks. It looks like they're going back, dude. If I was like, I'm not even saying this from a consumer point of view. If I was them, I would completely and 100% retract everything and just full re like I know they need to make some money some new money somehow but they need to completely backtrack this shit man if they don't do that it it doesn't really matter the community is in such uproar like they're gonna lose so many people if they don't fully take it back what I what I think they should do because they, they need money, I guess. Like, well, I mean, they, they, first of all, they should cut costs on their on their executives. Their executives are getting so much money. But, um... They should full backtrack, and then I, they're going to have to do something at some point. But I would rather they just do, like, what Unreal Engine does, and they just do 5%. And they should just do 5% on all games released from here on out. So it doesn't apply to games already released because that's bullshit. That would be bull I'd be pissed off if I released a game and I like uh, I agreed to the Unity service of terms and shit that said like, yeah, like the whole the game and all the revenue is yours as long as you pay like the Unity fee for a license, which is how it was. And then later on, they're just like, alright, sorry, we're actually, the game you already made and agreed to with the old terms, we're gonna revoke those and we're going to, uh, charge you five, like, <laughs> some amount of money. <laughs> like, this doesn't make any sense. And I don't, I really don't even know if it would hold up at court, to be honest with you. It sounds like it wouldn't hold up at court. That's bullshit. So, anyways, dude, that's, that's what I think they should do, is they should full backtrack it, and then in a little while, release something that's like 5%. We're going to take 5% from everyone above like a million dollars, like Unreal Engine does, from here on out. And it does not apply retroactively. That's what I hope they do. And I think, hopefully everyone would be fine with that, but... Yeah, I don't know. My opinion is like... The way they implement it is really shitty. I understand from a company point of view that they need to get more revenue. So I'm fine with them releasing something that takes money from like a release that I make. But the way they did it, I think it was just terrible. So that's my opinion. So, okay. Then the NPC... Right. So I'll just say this is equal. Let's say it's equal to zero. So then in um So 
So when this starts up, I will say this Our current story equals let's see. DC stories. DC data. Just make a um, probably a good function. Yeah. So then we'll just say um, see current story index if. That's less than the um Okay, so now we get the story, we get the current story. Let me send that in. Since most of them are creating, I see it as a social community hub to become a kind of epic store where the engines. There was also a marketplace for games that the engines users themselves create. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. They, they should do something like that. I agree. Even if it's just Unity Bay games. I know Epic Games has sunk so much money into their launcher, though. I don't think it's profitable at all for them. But Steam, Steam is just so... Like... It's a monopoly, essentially, on online gaming purchases. <laughs> Epic Games have, is having still such a hard time getting past Steam at all. Like, Epic Games, you know, they, like, they like often are offering games for free. You know how they do that? It's because they pay a fee for the game. So they're just, like... They'll be like, yeah, this game is free on our server, and then they, like, lose a million dollars because, like, you know, 10,000 10, people download it for $60, and they have to pay the whole fee. That's the only way they offer it for free. So. It is a very competitive space. I don't know. I don't know if Unity can get into it. But it would be cool if they offered their own games and like, their own launcher at a minimum, you know? All games produced by Unity. Should do something like that okay so we can save or so we can get the current story and all that so now we have to um we have this interface called i persistible so whenever we save all the data in our game we need to call this function save and then whenever we load so yeah how's this gonna work so then we have to also load the data So saving data is going to look like this. Wow. 
Wow, first time viewer, hey. Oh my god, get out of here. We're just talking about Unity, how shitty they are. Classic, classic topic. So annoyed, dude. Unity had such a good thing going. It's such a wrench and all that. Unity did not back down, that's for sure. <laughs> They didn't they didn't really have any choice dude like the community reacted so like crazily to it it was it was either like they killed a company and they keep this or they backtrack like <laughs> there there is only really two options and I guess <laughs> we all made sure of that so fuck them Okay, so then I think we have to do like npc data dot currents for the um let's say we did equals So what's the default for like if it's there's no st story there? I think the the default then is just this. But what if this is not? Ugh, that's annoying. What if what if there's no story on the NPC? It's just a fucking NPC walking around. It doesn't have any. You can't interact with it. You can't do anything. Dude, oh my god. Is that big Mick in the chat? Well, also, what's up over on YouTube, Soul? Now they are backtracking. Yeah, they are. They better, dude. I'm very interested to see what they do. They they really need to just completely revert it. Otherwise, I don't think they're gonna gain back much trust. It's usually my fault. Steps after the hand. <laughs> Sorry for not catching any streams. You started so late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we'll see. We might. I'm not sure how things are gonna go, but pretty soon schedule will be changing because I'm moving in with Bar Sweats. We got an apartment together. And she's on East Coast time right now, so like I'm always hanging out until yeah, 9, 9 30. And then I start my streams. But we'll be together, so then when I do my streams, I'm gonna keep doing streams like, you know, three times a week or so. At least I'm gonna try to. Um, but I can, <laughs> I assume I can, you know, str I have a more flexible schedule in terms of when I can stream. So I don't really want to stream this late. I would rather stream like a little earlier. Cause I know like I, I completely miss pretty much the entire East coast win of game devs, which is like, <laughs> I think it's like most, most of the game devs on Twitch, to be honest. So it would be nice to catch the the east coasters a little bit and then also um the rest of the world waking up over in europe hey what's up savvy how you doing dude yeah this this could be a problem so if we don't have if the story is just no, we could just make it no.
I say we just make it jump. So if there's no data, then we just- Oh shit, oh no. Default value. Why can't I do that? What? Fuck me. Dialogue manager, what happens? I thought. Dude. Currents, okay. This is what we can do. Let's just make current story. I think we do a question mark. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, no, it's here. It's here. I think we do that. What the fuck does that mean, dude? The annotation for nullable reference types should only be used in code within a nullable annotations context. Can't make this null. Oh wait, what if I do this? Can I do this? Ah. Uh. I forget where the null operator thing goes, it's not there. Fucking hate that dude. Don't mind me doing homework in the BG, alright. Sounds good. Got the lo-fi going. You should consider streaming on Twitch. Oh, I do, I, I literally stream on Twitch. I'm streaming right now on Twitch. Spader to bomb. Yeah, I stream to both. Yeah, come come join the Twitch if you want. We got seven views over here. It's all good. I've just been on a god sleep schedule and have one <laughs> Dude, Mikey, since when do you have a good sleep schedule? Also, how's your like course going? Are you uh are you like almost done with that? Safi, um are you liking the Unity drama? Yeah, it's it's the uh, age-old question, isn't it? It's um, it sucks, man. I wish I wish it didn't happen. I want to go back to before when I was like proud to be a Unity developer. But you know they, I don't know if you saw, but they released a statement saying that they um, are like reconsidering things. So there's going to be an update about it in a couple days. We'll see what they do. I'm sticking with it either way, but I really want like them to actually have an honest like <laughs> take back, I guess. Because like I'm it sucks having so many people like want to move to a different platform. Like Unity has always been like the indie game dev platform you know and it would suck to lose that I mean I just have to do this oh that's all I have to do okay it's just it just needs to know what to cast the null to okay it's like dude what's going on here Hey, hi, Sappy. Oh, it is Sappy. Okay. Hi, Sappy. Yo, thanks for the follow. Six forty-eight. Damn, we're almost at six fifty. Can we get six fifty tonight? 
Talisman over on YouTube. Hey, hey, what's up? Skulls. Is that Skulls? The Skulls I know? Oh, shit, I'm so axed on Twitch category, but I found your YouTube before Twitch. Oh, okay, okay. I'm surprised. Were you just wondering, like, who the fuck is this guy talking to? Because I, I just be talking to random ass people. <laughs> You're like, this guy just making up people and talking to him, he's just keeping the vibes high. It, skulls, it is the skulls I know. Okay, yo, what's up, dude? Tonight, I get a Twitch clip, okay, you guys? I get a Twitch clip and we post it somewhere. That is the goal. If you were here last stream, I had the most ridiculous time trying to get a clipped Twitch video onto my phone. We spent like an hour trying to figure it out. It was so ridiculous. By the way, do you guys want to know? Let's see, it's the, um, I, we found the God app. It's called VOD Saver on, I, on iPhone, by the way. This would have been so much easier if I had a fucking Android. But, uh, because I have an iPhone, it was, like, impossible to figure out how to save a Twitch clip. But there's an app called VOD Saver that'll do it for you. Twitch clips are so bugged. Yeah, dude, you're telling me. Dude, it's like, it was so annoying. Like, I'll just, I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but the, probably the worst slash funniest part was we found this YouTube video that was explaining it. And it was like, all right, what are you going to, what are you going to do is you're going to log in to Twitch on a browser on your phone. And then you're going to download the clip like you would normally, and it'll be fine. And I went through three different browsers on iOS, and no matter what I did, every time I tried to log in, it would redirect me to a Twitch app that I had. Like, it was impossible for me to try to log in on any browser on iOS. And I about threw my fucking phone across the room. Crazy, dude. Also, it sucks with Google Workspace. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It's pretty awful. I don't... I just don't get it, man. It really... They're gonna lose a lot of people. By making their shit, like, forcibly hard on any other platform. Okay, so we're gonna save the story. And the value is going to be the current story index. Oh, wait, this is story index? Yeah. I also should probably make like, um, like a save string, call it like public. Text e equals story I don't know if I should put the underscore in here or not. Then, then I can just use this, change it whenever I want, if I ever need to. Can I make it open source and non-profit? You are muted, by the way? Wait, what? Skulls, you would make it open source and non-profit? Well, Godot is open source, at least. 
but it's not nearly as advanced as Unity. No, you're not. Oh, okay. Scared me, dude. I've had so many. I've had so many streaming problems lately. Okay, get Mo, you click mute on accident. I would I would consider switching to Godot if it, like the 3D stuff was more advanced. If I was gonna make a new 2D game, I'd be down to make it in Godot, but 3D does not it it does not have what Unity has. Like I don't care what anybody says. Like I don't I really don't care. Godot is not Unity when it comes to 3D. Like I was looking up um, LOD groups. I actually, by the way, guys, uh, open um, open world part three video is out on YouTube. If you guys haven't seen it yet, posted it yesterday. And actually, one of the topics in the video is uh, LOD groups, level of detail groups, which are like they're really useful for improving performance in three D scenes. If you want to do them in Godot, like. As far as I know, at least I saw a tutorial recently on it. Like, it's, there's not, like, built-in support for it. Like, you have to, like, code them up yourself or use a third-party plugin. So, a lot, like, those types of things, like, you could do it, but it's going to be way harder. You know, it has bad management issue and other issues. Do they really? Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, they all have their own drama. That's been my only thing that's like, I don't, I've been frustrated with this whole Unity thing is like, you got, like, you got people who are making a Steam game and they're trying to publish it for $10 a sale. And they're like, oh, fuck Unity, I'm switching over to Unreal Engine. And like, like, they don't realize that Unreal Engine will take more money from them, actually, <laughs> than Unity would, even with their new policy, so... I feel like there's there's been a bit of a blind hatred for I mean for fairly good reason it is a bullshit policy but it's like it's not all I, I guess what I'm trying to say is the green the grass isn't always greener okay so we can save shit now um just save it as the save it back. So, yeah, okay, we're gonna have some fun here. So let's let's open up Inky. I'm not I'm not fully sure how to do this. <laughs> that a boy. Let's try out some dialogue stuff real quick. Um. The unity pricing thing is being pushed as retroactive. Yeah, that that is the part that I don't understand how they thought they could get away with it. Like I that has to be that has to break some laws, right? Like <laughs> everyone signed on to this like, you know, per seed license if they're making enough money. And they made a game using that model, and they agreed to it and Unity agreed to it. There's no way you can just be like all right, actually, we're gonna like take a bunch of money from the game that you made under that agreement. There's, there's just no way that could hold up in court, right? Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't understand it. Okay, let's try this story out. I don't even know if this is gonna compile. It's illegal and a violation of antitrust. I believe you. 
It's got it's got to be illegal somehow. Imagine okay yeah like like think about it this way. Imagine you were like okay I'm gonna like I have this piece of software and then like there's this company and they're like yo I will pay you a hundred thousand dollars to use your software as long as I have the full rights to my business and the things that we make from it. And then the third, you know, the people who made the software were like, yeah, let's do it. I want the hundred thousand dollars. I signed the contract. You signed the contracts. It's done. Right. How the fuck could you just come in three years later and be like, yo, actually we changed it. You owe us uh, 3% on everything now. <laughs> I, I don't see the difference. If someone could explain me any difference there between those two scenarios compared to what Unity did, I would love to hear it because I'm pretty sure that's the exact same thing and I'm pretty sure that's like highly illegal. Alright, let's try this story. Oh, fuck. We got a bug. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I think, I think I just didn't put the story back in because we changed some values. Yeah, it's not here. It is the same? <laughs> That's what I think, dude. Ah. Uh. Issue. Oh shit. We have the same same line bugged. NPC data dot current story. So uh current Yo, Professor Jarvis. Hey, that is 649, boys. We just need uh, one more for 650. Thanks for the follow, dude. On the same note, I lost four volunteers over this mess. They ran off to self learn on reels, so now it's just me and the other dude. Oh, shit. Hey, 650 followers. Wait, who just followed? Not... Not Catgwim? Is that like a penguin, but a Catgwim? Hey yo, what's up? Not Catgwim, you have some explaining to do on your name. Let's, let's look here, I guess. I, I don't know what's going on. So current... Current story index should be zero. In the NPC stories. Uh, oh, I'm stupid. Oh my god, we got lots of activity. Professor Jarvis, what's up, what's up? Thank you guys for the follows. <laughs> yup, that is what it is. Oh, how did I guess that, dude? Okay, how many people actually guess that? Be honest with me. Akash, over on YouTube. What's up, dude? He's here. Akash, what time is it for you again? Skulls, can't be on long. Gotta get some sleep. Wanna say hey and try to catch up with you? Yeah, for sure, man. What's your... Which... <laughs> 
It's uh It's Mr. Skulls, I mean yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah man. All good dude. If you gotta go to sleep, go to sleep. It's better to get some good sleep. Play CSGO and friends in lobby said some, I think. Cat going ever since. <laughs> That's crazy. Most don't even know how to say it, dude. Let's see, I'm a, I'm a professional Twitch name reader at this point. I get hit from by the most left field names I've ever seen. Oh, it's 10.45 for you, Akash. No office today, chilling. Skulls are just a ray, dude. I like skulls. I'll call you skulls. But I'm gonna remember that. Ray. My man, Ray. What kind of work you got going on today, Akash? Okay, yeah, so basically we just need to... Um, this, this should be... This should be read only, actually. Let's let's make this read only. I don't think we need to do this. Um, NPC spawns. Let's make. Oh, let's see. data. This is a. Actually, don't. Kind of story. But I guess it could be useful for debugging. Uh, could you please give me a peek, a sneak peek of your game? Looks awesome. Yeah, sure. If you guys, you guys want to check out the game, Zen Fisher, I'll show you real quick some, some stuff. Let me just get this loaded in, and then we can actually see one of the main aspects I've been working on. Um, this is called. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Getting started. Let's do this one. Alright, yeah, let's check it out. Here's the game. Hopefully this works now. So, uh, actually, before we do this, let me add in some items. Because I took out all the items earlier because I was having some issues. But um, I think they should be good now. Let's, like, we'll just put in... Where's my... Where's the player? Oh, God, I hate how it does this. Throw in a few items real quick. Dude. I thought, I thought that would be real quick. I don't know why it's why is it way over there, man? Uh, items. Okay. Wait, why is that tomato so small? Oh. <laughs> That's huge. Did I put it on the player for a sec? Okay. Alright, sorry. Let's get a let's get a cabbage in here. One more one more thing real quick. No, why is it way over there, dude? You know what? Fuck the cabbage. Okay, I'll show you guys what's going on. Here we go. All right, so this is Unfisher. So I've been working on a starting island, and then there's going to be other biomes that we go through portals into. It's like the starting hut. Um, yeah, so what, the main things we've worked on is um, we got fishing. So you just cast it out, it catches the fish after a sec. You can't really see anything, but it actually, the back end is there, you actually catch a fish. Um, you got, we got running animations, jumping. 
all that this. Okay, and then uh, so we can also pick up items. We go into our inventory. So the way I'm doing the inventory in this game is you have your like main inventory bag and you have different gear slots. So you also notice like I have like a little hover option on each of these. We've done a lot of work on the inventory, but then you can equip to your outfit slots and stuff. Or your hand slots. Okay, and then um yeah, the big thing is working on this right now, which is NPC dialogue. So if we talk to this guy, um, it starts up a dialogue for us. I found you over by the lake. Where did you come from? The woods, outer space, your mom. Um, anyways, yeah, okay. Anyways, you guys get the point. So that's some of the main stuff. Um, there's definitely a lot of other stuff in, in here. It's hard to kind of go over all of it. Let me catch up on chat though real quick. Not Cacwin, you're recently trying to learn Blender? Ooh, not, dude, Blender is, I mean, super, super important if you're going to make a 3D game especially. Good night, alright, good night Skulls, I'll see you. It's not the size of the tomato that matters. Wow man, so neat and clean, can't wait for it. You gonna be the you gonna be the first person to buy it? All right, hell yeah, that's what I like to hear, man. All right, over on Twitch, let's see what's going on. I like that setup. Need to move my UI around, dude. Yeah, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, like I worked on this inventory system for like close to two weeks. I would show other features, but I don't really have. Right, um, items right now. Like, like I have splitting. Oh, we can drop items. So you, you can drop items. Pick it back up again. Um, but there's also splitting. There's swapping, and there's stacking and all that. So the inventory is like complete, but it took me literally like two weeks. So another thing, let's let's test this out real quick. Um, if you drop an item over here, let's drop up these items and let's actually close out of the game. And then let's restart it. I don't know if this is gonna work, but hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, it works. Okay, so I, I've been working on this like all weekend, but basically getting items to save persistently. So like, even if you close out of the game and reopen it, the items are still in the same spot. That was really fucking hard. Um, there is a kind of a bug where like these actually spawn again, so I need to I need to figure that out. But at least these, you know, they stay in the same spot. And I think the player position also tracks. So like, let's let's go over here by the stairs and let's log out. Start up again. Yeah. So we're over here now. So yeah, getting getting all that shit to work, man, that was hard. That was probably the hardest thing that I have, I've had to do so far in this game. Not sure what I want to do with Blender, like my main thing. Smooth my in inventory. Here, let's see if it stacks. Can we actually stack a tomato? Yeah, we get stacking tomatoes. Then we can split, right click, splits. I know Spider made a boar and a deer in Blender. <laughs> yeah, I I made this fishing rod too. This fishing rod I actually handmade in Blender. I'm like I'm okay at Blender. I'm I'm not I'm not that good though. I wish I was better. You're not sure what you want to do. Well, do you want to? Well, are you are you just like a solo indie game dev, Kakwin? Or are you trying to do like art 
professionally in any way. Actually, dude, the boar is my most prized possession in Blender. I don't know if I have it uh, in a convenient spot. Let's see if I got it. Let me find this boar. Boar? It's gotta be boar three, right? The most recent. <laughs> this dinosaur I made is so bad. If you guys want to see a bad blender uh, model, then yeah, we could check out the dinosaur. Here, I made this boar. It's actually pretty good overall. I spent a lot of time making this guy. And it has some animations, I think. Look at them fucking animations, dude. <laughs> Wait, what else is there? Here's its idol. Running. Oh, I already saw running. Walking. The walking one's pretty bad. He's got like a limp or something, bro. <laughs> Maybe it looks better from this side. Looks like he's like really fat trying to walk. He's trying really hard to walk. Shut up, Spade, you're fat. I feel like it's four right now, man. He's just, he's looking for ladies? Dude, yeah, look at that strut he's got. It's like, sup. <laughs> Imagine this thing's just charging at you. Do you guys be scared? <laughs> What is that, dude? Oh, man. That's what I don't know yet. I tend to do more art, small rooms. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. I like the setup. Oh, your Unity setup. Wait, Dave, you mean, oh, do you mean like the two by three layout? Yeah, okay. There's, there's an option up here if you like this. It's called one column layout versus two. So two column, like you normally, like you click on your folders over here and the assets show up, but it, you can also go to these dots and do one column mode and then it's just like a full file manager. I, I kind of prefer it. Some people don't, but I like it better. There's so many assets in this project. Okay, so let's, let's try something new. We're gonna swap out um, the story for a different story now. You need a beastie PC for importing, for doing stuff in Unity. Um. You don't need, need, need one, but you definitely need a pretty decent computer. I would just say it's like gaming, like, just depends, like, whatever you're trying to make, like, you should have a computer that would run the game well enough. That's the main problem. But yeah, definitely having, like, a faster, like, SSD, like, M2 is going to help, a better CPU is going to help with all the loading times and all that shit. It is pretty annoying to, to wait a lot in Unity. There's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of waiting in game dev in general between any like game engine and all that stuff. I think Godot is actually pretty light. 
if you want like a lighter game engine that's not as intense there's a pretty good option but yeah you, you should be able to run unity if you have like a decent computer it should be fine okay let's try this new one got a spare rod over in that barrel why don't you go try and get it okay well the story didn't work we're using inky this pro i'm trying to learn this program i don't Uh, I don't understand. Shouldn't this go to this? Let's try changing this first. Oh wait, I think it worked. So I clicked twice at the end and just showed it twice. Yeah, yeah, okay, it works. So what I wanted to do is like if I pass the first four dialogues. I just want it to stay on something, right? So it's like, if we go through the first four set of dialogue, then I just want to be like, what are you reading? Catch a fish, fish. Why is it not that mean? So then I want to talk to him again, and then he just says it. Yeah. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Using Inky. It's so annoying. By the way, you guys, I know there's some new people in the chat, so uh, I'm just going to link my YouTube. If you guys want to learn how to make these kind of worlds, um, I have a tutorial series on the YouTube that shows you exactly how to do all this. Um, so just some shameless advertising, but no, but seriously, I spent a lot of time on the tutorial and it's, it's free on YouTube. So if you are interested in that stuff, it's there. Uh, Maybe Inky. I uh, find get us this mind me giving an opinion the walking animation should be a bit faster for um you're, oh you're talking about for the boar uh yeah that's i mean that's probably true it's an old project though it's not going to go into this project but um yeah <laughs> i think i think a lot of those animations were pretty scuffed they're okay, but yeah. Or has been abandoned, yeah. I mean the hand hand movement. Oh, you're talking about in here. You think it goes should go faster? Okay, so I have walking, 
I have walking and then I have sprinting. How do you think the sprinting is? Do you think sprinting is good? Sprinting's good. Okay. Okay, yeah. I can I'll write that down. As something to try out and check. No, yeah. Yeah, if you guys uh, notice anything that looks off or have suggestions, let me know. I'll write it down and take a look at it. Now you say it's swimming's good, but walking doesn't match. Gotcha. Alright, yeah. Hey, well, if that's two people saying it, it must be off. Let's see what Fine told us. I'm learning this so you guys... I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, but there's something called ink, Inky. And it pairs in with Unity. It actually also pairs in with Unreal Engine. But it's a really good way of writing like RPG stories. It has like a full scripting language. And I'm trying to learn it. I'm really bad at it. But it's a really nice organized way of making stories. So that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And I've just, I've hardly ever used this. Yeah, that's what I have, a knot. So we made a knot. But it's like, it's like not remembering. Just restarts. I mean, I wonder if that's actually an issue in like, Like, am I actually saving it? I continue the story. Yeah, I don't need this. Oh shit, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of hard. Exit dialogue mode. It's almost like I need to pass in the current NPC so that I can set it. I guess let's try that. Let's see what Inky says, or what uh, Fine says. Yeah, 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 it's you, Jason, I'm sure. Maybe I should just do this instead. Oh, choose path string. Let's try this.
right so now the first time it brings it up we should see what are you waiting for go catch a fish let's just see if this works you grab a beverage is that an adult beverage or you're just grabbing some like milk or something dude what why did i say that dude milk Oh, it works. What are you waiting for? Okay, so that's it. It works. Yeah, Inky. It's pretty interesting to watch. Inky, um, dude, I mean, Inky is really cool. I just learned about it recently. I've been going through some tutorials. It's, it's a bit of a pain to get started, like, with anything in game dev, but it's it's a really cool program because you can basically have like authors who are just like good in ink and they can write up full stories for you and then you just like give them to the developers and like the full story just goes seamlessly straight into the into the game and also what's like yeah I, this is also as customizable as you could ever want there's no limitations so if you're ever worried about like, oh, like, it's like this stupid text editor and I'm not going to have like the control over my game that I want. No, nah, dude, this is just like a full programming language. Inky. <laughs> you can do anything. You can call C Sharp scripts from Inky. So, yeah, it's it's full-fledged. It's really good. But, of course, that means it's really complicated. But, you know, now, like, ideally what happens here is like I just create like a bunch of story. And I can just like set what part of the story we're at, depending on what happens in the game. I put liquid IV in my THC syrup water. <laughs> now that's an adult beverage right there. Okay, so now what I want to try to do, like, I, I just forced it to do that. That's not how I actually want to control it. Um, what I want to do is I want to cache the value using the save data, load data. We're, we're doing the stuff that nobody talks about in game dev, dude. You see all the front end stuff that's cool and fun? Saving data sucks, dude. <laughs> It's like the worst part of making a game. Okay, so then we load. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. We have to go back to my data manager. I think. So when we save all the data, we need to. Let's chat. I don't know how to do this, but I'm pretty sure. Um. The Rolf was telling us how to do this last time. He was telling me to do this. I basically, I made something, long story short, called iPersistible, which is an interface. So any type of item in the game that you want to save data from, you attach this interface to it. And then it has these save data and load data commands. So now what I need to do is I need to get every single game object that has this interface on it here. No idea how to do that, but I'm pretty sure fine will tell us. Good. Come on, dude, come through for us, chat GPT. I need you. Sunday vibes. <laughs> I was so confused when he said Sunday vibes. It's 8 a.m. Oh, 8 a.m. Monday, dude. That's about to be me. That does not sound good. So, wait, uh, you over like 8 a.m. Wait, I was going to say like UK, but I feel like that's your. You must be further east.
Or I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just wrong. From Sweden. There we go, dude. My geography ain't that bad. Sweden, damn, dude. I was living up in Sweden. Um, what am I doing, dude? Oh, shit. Trying to s Oh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not here yet. Back here. Using Link. Um, sure. Let's see if this works. I persisted a little. I think we need to get... Okay. Reach. I don't want to be called vehicles though. Let's see. Persistables? <laughs> Just a bowl and persistables. Load all data. We're going to do the same thing. Oh god, I I actually don't know. Will this find it? I don't know if it's created it yet. Okay, let's try it out. Mikey's back, dude. What'd you get? Compared to most, I hate Sweden. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's, I feel like this is a statement I don't hear very often from there. My bum is on the Swedish. <laughs> what? My bum? I speak, I speak, watch, listen to so much English that I'm average in Swedish. <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. Dude, yeah, you guys are so good at English. Whenever I meet anybody from Sweden, their English is like fucking perfect. Meg says hello. Well, hello there. How, how is Meg doing? <laughs> I'm okay. Is it bad? I almost just said, how's big Meg doing? But <laughs> it's probably I, I can say that to you, Mikey. I need like a better. <laughs> I just say that to everyone. Big Mick, dude. <laughs> I need a better uh, thing, Mick. Okay, so now you guys get to see another little thing. So this is where all the data is getting saved in our manual save file. Oh, by the way, persistable save, it actually did get called, so it works. So we were able to get that NPC from doing that call. So we should see is in our manual save file. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, it saved. 
It saved something. I don't know why it didn't use the MPC ID though. Oh, let's do the blank. We can just make a. I don't know if I want to do this, but I think we can just do equals like. Um, I make a GUI ID. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, it's a type good. Is that what I want to do, dude? I just want to name it the base name, but that's probably bra bad practice. Big Meg X Big Meg F and C as a duo. I'm adding the commentary. <laughs> oh my god, Big Mick just made a full box. He's protecting with a cone on top of his head. Oh, and Big Mick edits out the corner, tries to get a pump shot in, misses, and Big Mick is dead. He got sniped in the face because Big Mick... <laughs> I can't do it, dude. Because Big Mick forgot to close the edit behind her. Imagine, dude. Would I just be the best Fortnite caster ever or what? Back in school, you could choose French, Spanish, German, or such four more hours a week of english damn see but i i did that for spanish and i didn't learn any spanish <laughs> i've forgotten like almost all my spanish you gotta use it on a constant basis you know gaming loads helps most people yeah that's true um He's talking levels, I need to catch up. Wait, what's your- can you do exclamation rank, bar sweats? Level set, 70. Yeah, wait, oh, we can do leaderboard, I forget. Um, It's not called leaderboard, though, it's like... Is it? Fuck, dude. God. Uh, leaderboard. Oh, is it top? Maybe it's top. There it is. Wait, look at the ranks. Oh, we're number 28. Here's the top ranks, you guys. Of course, Mr. Colin JB is uh, number one at level 171. <laughs> How's that even possible? The man is just destroying you guys. Oh, there is a boost rank command you can redeem or i mean you can redeem it so now you guys get times two the points for the next five minutes dingers is number two where's mick number seven? Oh, brutus passed you mick you used to be number six reagan reagan's up here but dude reagan hasn't been in the stream for a while so you guys are gaining on her it gets tough though above 
I'd say above top seven, it gets really tough. That's some dedication right there. Wait, I can't redeem boost? Oh, it's because I just redeemed it for all you. It's like a global thing. You can redeem it in five minutes when it expires. But all, like now all of you are getting times two points. Yeah, that's how it works. Um, so will this create an ID for us? And is this actually what I want to do? Oh my God, like. It's so like, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I can just search these letters. We'll just go with it. Fuck it. We'll use the NPC ID as a good. Oh no, but yeah, what if what if you didn't do? It's kind of scary. You can just make a new one right there. Shit. Alright. Um, that's fine. So okay. Basically now if we um if we run this. Come over here, we talk to him, we run through the shit, we escape. And now we look at um our data. Uh yeah, you can see right here. So the ID and then underscore story index and then save the value. So now we could load that value. The we have to save something else though, which is like I think we need to actually save the story. No, it's kind of confusing. Oh, it's so confusing. We need to like load all of the stories. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. This is so annoying. I wanted me to only have boost. <laughs> Rainstorm's taking a trip to the forest watching this. Is it just like the. What part of it is throwing you? Yeah, your old Twitch back? No way. What is this? I can't resist clicking on an old Fortnite clip. <laughs> Dude, man is just thumping. Wait. <laughs> oh, the very end, dude. That's too funny. Big make, dude. We were trying to be pros. We were just, we were just dog shit. This shit's this is like really not fun what I'm doing right now. This this really sucks. I'm trying to figure out just 
I mean, we have all these stories. I think we literally are supposed to save. Okay. Let's just, okay, let's just back up. So on the loaded, let's just do one thing at a time. So I'm going to, otherwise, if I try to do all this at the same at once, like it's just going to not work. So let's do NPC story dot kind of story. The only problem now is get current story. Um, so the current story, maybe maybe this get current story actually is pointless because we're always loading the story. And if we load the story and it's nothing, then it just sets it to null. Uh, mm. Yeah, okay. This we have to do this differently. Int It's an integer. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, that's this. Yeah. Jesus, man. What games do you play, Cacwin? You gamer at all? Or you said CSGO, huh? You play Valorant? Current story index. Y yeah, okay. So then we're, we're gonna have to do something different here in a sec. What really needs to happen though is just current story equals this. So then if it doesn't find any loaded data, it's just gonna set it the first one. And we don't need to do this anymore. Let's just get rid of this completely. We'll validate the data later. Okay, so now we should load in the, the current story index properly. But we're not saving the story still. That's like a whole different thing. Ugh, oh, my brain, dude. I probably said the word fucking story like 300 times in the last hour. Right, okay.
I think we just need to do... Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, let's try something new. We're gonna come back to this, because this is hard. We need to get this other part working first. So basically, whenever the current story continues, we need to update. I just don't know enough about this API. It's really the problem. Current story. Dot, like, is, is there a way to like figure out what not we're on, not container? I do here before it was like choose path string. What is this? Let's try this all. Hey, what's up, the Rolf? Oh, the Rolf. Do I got some stuff for you, man? Used to play CS:GO. I was playing GTA loads. Now I hop around Apex, Blender, co-op games, and party animals. What is party animals? I've not heard about that one. Um, I don't. I hate Val. I don't get the hype over it. I like Valorant. I also like CSGO. I don't know. I feel like the hype is just that it's like a modern a modern CSGO. That's about it though. They also did really good art for it. I feel like that's why it got so popular. Like all the champions and shit. That's not, <laughs> it's not printing anything. So I don't know what this actually does. Current text. Current flow name? What's that print? So, Therolf, I uh, I ended up going with the uh, iPersistible data or like the interface thing that you were telling me to do, to do the other day. And then I'm just going to like decentralize all the data saving because having it all centralized was so ass. It did not scale well. Okay, it just says it's in the default flow. Like, I don't know what that even means, but... I'm trying to just understand, like... Like, how do I get the current not? Sucks. Easy save might have been too smart for something good. Well, I've learned a bunch of things about Easy Save, and it made me realize that I should probably decentralize it. So, yeah, I, I have it working, dude. I, 
I don't know if I really want to go into all the bugs. They're not bugs, they're just like features that I didn't realize existed, but there were so many weird things going on with Easy Save, and it took me like hours on hours to figure out some really fucking weird behavior going on. It was so annoying. Current path string. Maybe that's what it is? Let's try that. I just wanna I just wanna wait a debug this right now. That's all I want to do. Yeah. What? Story dot state. Ah, uh, state. Current text. All right, let's try that out. Yes, it it's like giving me like a decimal value. It must be the fraction of the way it is through the current knot. Then why when I go on to the end, it says null? This doesn't seem like that's what it should print. This is so stupid. What library are you using for dialogue? It's called Inky. You can like write stories in there. Custom editor. But there's so many features that I can't really figure out what's going on. I wonder, did I do this correctly? Let's just make sure I actually made this right. Easy save. Yeah, I know, man. I mean, this is just game dev, dude. It's just like constant learning new APIs. Just literally all it is. A knot is a major section of your story, while a stitch is a minor section within a knot. A knot as a chapter in a book, and a stitch as a section within a chapter. Oh, okay, maybe I should use stitches. Morning routine is a knot. The player is presented with two choices. They can either go out of bed or stay in bed a little longer. Shit's confusing, dude. I usually stay away from Unity libraries. I get nothing done. Well, I guess Inky is not a Unity only thing. Unity is like, or uh, Inky is like a standalone story writing application for game development. 
but Unity has like an integration with it. But I'm just trying to figure out some basic ass things, dude. Like. I used to put waiters in my stream title and keep the cash. No way. Did you actually do that? <laughs> You're so bad, dude. Damn. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, you know, like... Well, why, why is it printing null? Like, I don't get that. It prints null here? Like, what? Brave to use finder documentation. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of use it all the time. I mean, I just feel like I'm going overboard on all this shit. I wish, I wish this was easy. I thought Inky was gonna be a little easier to be honest, but it's like really involved. Just trying to think, man, like, I'm trying to think about how to do all this NPC dialogue shit, man, like, what's the easiest way? I think what I have to do is when I enter dialogue mode here, I think I have to, like, pass in the actual NPC. I'm a little confused at how this all works. Maybe you can actually tell me this, Therolf, but um, what's happening is I, over in Dyla, or in, um, where this gets called, you know, I'm getting my, like, NPC data, where the current story is logged, right? And I pass, I pass the current story in. Yeah, and then I, I like create a new story. Should I even be creating a new story here? Or if I just use this. That'll be like a reference. Would it, would, if I just use this one, will it update my NPC data in the other guy? Seems like kind of bad coding practice, though. I don't know. But I need a way to update the other one. Like, act the actual NPC data. Because it, to me, it looks like I'm creating a brand new story here, and then as I progress through it, it doesn't get saved to that asset. What if instead of like Yeah, well what happens if I just do this? It's even Oh no, the current Oh. Oh, that's just a text asset. Fuck. <laughs> I 
That's a completely different thing. So I need to like save the story. That's on the NPC, but I don't I don't have any story on the NPC right now, actually. This is so confusing, dude. It makes sense to have a callback when the dialogue is done so you can handle saving, making character changes, etc. and the dialogue's done. Yeah, that's true. So I mean I have like exit dialogue. So that's when the exit the dialogue's actually done. Yeah, so that's maybe when it when I should do all that stuff. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to have one story or many stories. That's, that's what is really confusing me about this whole ink thing. I guess I could start with one story and just kind of like learn it as I go. And then if I need multiple. You pass a lambda when you start a dialogue that you call, that way you easily get back to your character. Okay. Okay, I might ask you about that in a sec. Okay, let's let's play around with this then. Um so instead of So this is like NPCs I don't I don't think I should call this NPC stories. This should be like NPC Actually, you know what? Let's let's just call it. Um, let's just do one right now. This should be a story. Anything. So let's just make one of each, because like the list, the whole list thing is just making this harder. Yeah, let's just get rid of this shit now. Don't do any of this safe bullshit. Current PC data dot current story uh, equals any story I'm gonna do uh, Let's see stories which I should rename to something else. Let's call this NPC story. Let's just do zero for now. Oh, that's actually it's just to a uh, single one. What, what's wrong with this? What?
So, okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have our current story. And now, over in Dialog Manager, instead of passing this, I'm thinking we pass in the story itself. What do you think about that, Thurl? All right, let's check out this clip. What is this? Jake, let's go. Oh my god, dude, there's no way. You have to see how I die, bro. I'm <laughs> stuck, dude. Oh. Dude, this guy. Calm the fuck down. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, because this is, otherwise this is just always creating a brand new story and like like we don't want to do that. We want to be able to pass in like an already saved story. So yeah, um, we're just gonna say okay. We're just gonna set it the current story here to that story that's just like a reference, right? Is that correct when I say that's a reference, Thurolf? I just do this. I want to have my terminology straight. Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's just a reference. Um. So anything we do on this one should update that other one. So what I'm hoping. Inky really has you questioning everything, dude. It really does. <laughs> I'm like, I'm tripping, bro. My, what I'm wondering is, okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna continue the story. It's gonna change by the time we're at the end, it's gonna change. Do I have to do anything to that asset at the end when I exit the dialogue or are we already like chilling? We're already updated. I don't know. I guess let's see. I think it should already be just updated. change names uh what is it something starting out or something like that getting started current story yeah There we go. Okay. Now let's talk. Let's proceed and then let's exit out. Oh, yes. This is what I want. It's null though at the end. What the fuck? See, I think something's wrong in my inky script because if I do this, what are you waiting for? Go catch the fish. And now we go talk to him again. It's saying no. I wonder if it's because it's proceeding past that point. Oh, that's probably why, yeah. How do I get it to just loop this? Like, what if I just want it to keep showing this? Like, it doesn't go past this, it just always shows that. I think it's an inky thing. See, this is what I'm tripping about. Need to reset the story? Well, I don't want to reset the story. I just want it to reset to this knot. I just want to replay this last line. You know? Because, like, it's like you went through the initial dialogue, and I don't want it to just replay again. I just want it to replay, like... What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish if you like try to talk to him again. You see what I'm saying?
I think it's an icky thing. <laughs> this is bad, dude. This is my way now. How can... Uh, I don't want to go documentation diving, dude. Why did I use Inky? But Inky's so cool. I feel like if I just knew how to use it, it would be nice. Loop! <laughs> Loop count. Oh my god, look how cool Inky is. ChatGPT broke my trust. I don't know, man. I use it for dumb things. I don't. I don't trust it for anything complicated, though. This is my my rule for ChatGPT when it comes to coding is like, I only use it for things I'm pretty sure I could do on my own, but I think it can do it faster than I can, because then I can, if it doesn't bullshit and I'm like looking at it, I'm like, wait, that's wrong. If I can't just stare at the code it produces me and just be like, yeah, it looks right, or yeah, that looks wrong, then I don't use it. That's my rule. Well, how do we break out of a loop, then? I mean, we could do it though. Let's try it. It's a good rule. <laughs> That's my rule. I, I learned the hard way, trust. All right. Oh, but now I can't exit out, dude. It doesn't like naturally progress out. It does show up though. I can come talk to him again. What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. It's fucking stupid, dude. How do I do this? I don't even know how you would do this. I can't think of a way to do it. Because, like, Inky just naturally plays until it's over. It seems like I have to, like, explicitly catch this. Unless I need to, unless I end the story and just make a new text asset for every time this happens. Well, that seems like shit. You know, like I, ha I could have a list of text assets and then I could like break this up into a whole different file. But like, dude, that would suck. It would be really easy to make it work because then like basically as soon as you get to the end of the story you can just either like set the next index of like the next te text asset or you can just but th that kind of like goes against the, the um 
the inky philosophy, I feel like. Because, like, in inky, I feel like you're supposed to use these, like, chapters and stuff. Knots. That's what they call it. What is going on here? Fucked up. It won't close, dude. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe... So say you did this. Oh, dude, it really doesn't like this looping shit, I think. That must not be the solution. <laughs> I don't even edit it though. No. Oh. To be honest, it makes well. I could I could do what I want right now if I made it multiple files. Like all I would do is here. Like let me um, open this in like regular Notepad or something. Open with. Notepad. Yeah, it's just. with a fuck dude okay. yeah now I can edit again doesn't like that loop shit it's because it runs it over here so it was probably just continuously going there and it was just bugged basically all I'm saying is that like I could have based I could just take this out I could just say end I could create a new file and then I could just do like this. And then I could just set this current story index to like two for the MDC. And then it just creates the brand new story from here. It just keeps playing this every time from the start. Like I, I could definitely just do that right now and it would just work. The only issue I have with that is that you know, this isn't going to be the most expansible game. Some of these NPCs could probably have 50-ish, like, single, like, separate lines. Like, especially this wise old man guy, he's going to be, like, one of the main character guys. So if I do it that way, then... I might be creating, like, 50 files for some NPCs. It seems kind of clunky, you know? But, I will say, that is a solution that would work right now if I decided to go with it, and it's not that terrible. I just have to create a lot of files. But, it also feels like it very much goes against, like, the Inky style, so... I had an idea, though, which was that, what if we create... a variable up here? that keeps track of what not we're on. So whenever we load the story in, 
it uses this variable and it like jumps to the right number. And then the whole inky story just updates the variable as it goes. So that whenever it's reloaded, Oh, actually, I think I saw someone do this. What they did is they created like a global, I think they created like a global inky file and they updated the global inky file. And then you can do something like, uh, like include, yeah. And you can include like another file and then you could use that variable. Pretty sure you can get and set the knot by name without extra variable? You can. Yeah, you can. Actually, I was doing that earlier. I think right before you got here, I was testing that out and it was working in Unity, so... I think it was just like... Where is this dialog manager? So yeah, I tested it out up, up here. I was like, um, current story... Dot... Set... back real quick choose past the string so you can set it like that the question is um How do I get this behavior of where like I, it starts out at, well, how do I save this, a value, I guess? Do I save like the current story not? Then if you had a callback, you could set the current path string to caught fish every time to finish the dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. But then I think that requires like then saving. Because like say I exit out of the game and I restart and we're at the same place, then we need to like load, save and load the current knots, all right, for that story. Right, like, let's just try this real quick. Same. Oh. Oh shit, I don't want to close it. I don't think I saved that part. Well, you would only override it if you finish the dialogue, otherwise the story object would save how far you've gotten. Right, yeah. Ugh. What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. So see, that works. If we just set the knot like that. So yeah. The problem is then I need to save, like, what is the current knot, I guess. So what I could do is, like, when the dialogue exits, I could save the current knot. Uh, 
Second. Dot. But X. Not even like a thing, dude. I do like this. Start dialogue. My story. End path. End path. Oh, I see. I can, okay. Set path loop point. That way you don't have to save the current path string. But you don't have to save the current answer. That sounds wait. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me try to wrap my head around what you're saying. Okay, um, so what are you saying here? Let's see. Start dialogue, my story. Okay, let me just copy this in because it's hard for me to look at Twitch. Your dialogue. Say, yeah, the story. Why is it so angry all of a sudden? Dude, it's gotta stop.
if end path equals end. Wait, what is end? So what would end be here? This code would be called from your NPC class. Oh, okay, okay. So instead of calling enter dialog mode, I would call start dialog in my NPC class. Okay. Let's, let's, yeah, let's try this out a little bit. Um, dude. Switch the story. I'll enter dialog mode from it's from um it's like interact interact with npc it's on it's on the play it, or it's they're all like player actions basically So there's like an interact action from uh, the player, and then if the object that it's interacting with is an NPC, then it calls this interact with the NPC. And then I call enter dialog mode from here. So I was going to switch it to this one. Yeah, start dialog, just to test this out. Well, I could, in the interact code, I could call start dialog, right? I just, okay, yeah, I just was trying to understand what you're saying, because it seemed pretty good. Like, I, I in principle, I understand what you're trying to do. Like, at the end, yeah, you're trying to reset it to a point. The problem is, like, I don't even know how to get that point in general. Like, I feel like I would need, it's, like, specific on each story, right? So somehow I would need to save that value or have access to that value. Like, I don't know in which stories, like what parts are gonna be looping and like where that point is. That's why the callback would work nicely. I mean, yeah. still kind of have to like do that i don't know he's still really shitty dude the way you have to like get you have to like save that value cache it somewhere and then you have to give that value like depending on like what text asset and what part of the list you're in the idea was to modify enter dialog mode giving it the giving it an action string parameter which is the callback
Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm down to like possibly do that, but I just want to like get some more simpler things figured out first. Like if that's the route that I want to go down, it seems like it would be a good path, but I'm not I'm not really sure that's like I have to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get I get what actions do, yeah. I mean, I think I understand what's happening here overall my my worry is just that this kind of forces me to like somehow cash like for every individual's story like what is the return point like what is the name of the knot or something and then like i have to like save and load that and then i have to create an association which each of them when i'm pretty sure there might be kind of more of a built-in inky solution for this so if there's not then i'm down to do this but i think i'm Still trying to figure out it's saved in my story object for you. It's saved in my it's my story at set path. But like how am I gonna I'm gonna have to like manually I don't know, I don't get it. I mean, I get that you're saying, like, okay, yeah, if we get to the end, then we're setting it to, like, a loop point. But, like, what if the the name of that loop point is different for every single story? Then how are we going to keep track of that, I guess? That's the main problem. Yeah, you have to hard-code the not names. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to not do that, but I think I understand what you're saying, and, like, this would be a pretty slick way of doing it, if I have to do that. Um... But yeah, I think I'm going to keep reading more documentation on Inky, see if there's a way. I So, I'm pretty sure the way you want to do this is have like some global Inky file. I'm confused. Dude, I'm confused, man. This is like, so weird to me. I can't, I'm in too deep now. I need to learn Inky. But... If I could go back, I probably wouldn't have used this. <laughs> it's, it's way too much. I would have a class for each NPC? I might have a lot of NPCs though, dude. <laughs> well, I have a scriptable object for each NPC. How about that? I have, uh... Where is it? What's out there? Yeah, I mean, I have this, right? But then one night, I would still have to just be like, it's like, String. Not something like that. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm too deep into scriptable objects path on this project. That's just the route I've chosen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Give me more freedom and I don't have to learn. It took me a long time to actually like scriptable objects, but I do like them now. They're kind of nice. But I feel like I fuck I fuck up things a lot. Ah.
What if for every story I just save the last knot? And if I just, like, if I reach the end, I use this, the, the previous knot. No, I don't think that works. Fuck. Ah. So let me let me write you a little pseudocode. This is what I was thinking before. And this is kind of what I think the way this the inky way is. Um, so let's say ver. Not in, right? I don't know how to make a variable. Oh, I think I just need to do. So what if I do this? And I'm like... Uh... Oh, wait. One. And then I say... Name. Oops. Like, what if I did something like this, you know? So that, like, the story itself keeps track of, like, what the current knot is. The only problem is then, like, I, how do I, I, I'm sure there's a way to do this, but then I need to, like, set the current knot to this knot name in Unity, probably. Maybe, oh, maybe there's a way to do it. Set. What am I looking at? Oh, <laughs> that's used to get the current, get the name of the current dot. Okay. This feels wrong to you? Possible I would lean away from doing stateful stories? 
to achieve the same in your story manager easily. Do this more idiom at the next level. Well, from what I know about Inky, like this is what you're supposed to do. Unless I'm just totally misinterpreting. I mean, I might, I'm, I'm probably gonna look at some more Inky t tutorials tomorrow on like how to actually write complex stories, but like from all the official solutions I see for Inky, it's that you have like very complex stories with like knots and variables and like you include other stories in that story to keep track of like things going on. You have like a global file that keeps track of like Inky variables that you wanna like be using and updating. And you're supposed to have it like very integrated together. I'm not sure if, like for this type of solution, if this is the way to go, but like I, from what I see, like the more you can do in Inky, that is the preferred solution. You hate the boilerplate for setting that? Well, yeah, it looks like I could do this. But, uh, still kind of annoying, yeah. Well, I, I can also, I could save, I can save the entire story, so. Gonna head out for now, all right, Kagwin. Yeah, sorry I got fucking weird tonight, dude. We're doing some weird shit tonight. Hopefully it'll be a little more fun next time I stream in terms of the content I'm working on, but talking. Uh, hey. True for saving, it might be nice. I'm still here, Papa. All right, dude. Big Nick, still in the house. I'm for saving it. Well, okay. The thing is, like, I... I I was only doing this because, like, I was going to try to call it in Unity, but, uh... What, what should happen is you could, like, proceed, like, like you could say we proceed to not 2, and we're, like, in not 2, and then we, like, stop the story in-game. And then we save the current story. We just do, like, save to JSON and then load JSON, like, the story to JSON. And, like, we don't have to do any of this extra shit. It should remember that we're in that current knot still. Like, that, sh that should be fine. But that's, I think that's a different issue with what I'm trying to deal with right now. Ugh, such a fucking pain, dude. At the end of the day, there's this fundamental problem where it's like, we need to control what happens in the story from Unity. Like, an action in Unity changes something such that now we proceed to the next state in our story. And I guess that's the part that I'm most confused about. Like, how, what is the proper way to actually implement that? No, it's gonna tell them. Just gonna tell me what we've already seen. I don't know. At least with current not variable, I would move that into your code. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe this is kind of stupid. But okay, so so then let's let's just take this other story though that I have, which is um, this one. Let's think, let's revisit this. So what I want to do.
is I want to repeat this. But I don't want to loop it over and over and over. I want I want it to end like it's ending right now. And then when I start again, when I talk to him again, and we're on that current story, it just repeats this. It just goes straight to codfish. So that's that's kind of why I was thinking like, um, well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should store that in Unity. But then, yeah, it's so specific. It's so specific to this story though, which just makes it really annoying. You could do something like var repeat point equals not name, then implement it in Unity such that the story goes back to the repeat point. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hitting the satchel. All right, dude. I know how that uh that coding shit's going, bro. Give me updates. I need to hear him. All right, let's see. What are you, what are you saying, Throlf? Um, you do something like bear repeat point equals not name, then implement it in Unity such that the story goes back to the repeat point. This would also let you do the thing where some dialogue is repeated when you cancel the dialogue. Yeah, so let's just think real quick. So what would that look like? Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get what you're saying. I totally think that could be valid. Current story that give bear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, you're saying like. Current story dot set path. Current story dot get bear repeat point. Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, okay. So then, what would happen if it did not have a repeat point? Well, actually, if it doesn't have a repeat point. That would be weird because then you would just go talk to him again and it'd be over. 
and it wouldn't show anything. So I don't know how that would happen or what would ha happen there. But I mean, that, that seems like a pretty clean way of doing it overall. The only problem, okay, this is my only problem, of course. I have another problem with the roll, I'm sorry. So you're offering up really good solutions. Um, what about other knots now? So actually, right, this this shouldn't be caught fish. This should be like... Um, started... Sorry, Tom. Let's do this fast. But then I, what I want is like, oh, now later on we have like a cop fish. And then it's like. Oh, nice catch. Right? Like, this is how I want to organize it. But if I have a repeat point. And I get to here now, and then it ends. Then it just sets it back to here. So now, in Unity, I go catch a fish. Now what happens? Now what would happen is I could, in Unity, set, say, um, you know, the current knot to caught fish because of, I did that action. But when we finish that, now it's going to go back to the repeat point, which is going to be going, going back here. You would update the repeat point as you go through the story. Oh! Like this. Or are you saying do it in Unity? Like this, right? My man. This is it. <laughs> oh god. I think this is it. This feels good. <laughs> so what happens, dude, when we put me and Thorolf's brain together, we get 99% Thorolf brain. The repeat point is a bit iffy. Dude, you know, at, at the end of the day, we're not, I'm not making a fucking AAA game with millions of lines of RPG stories, you know? <laughs> so if, if this works and it feels pretty good, I say we just go with it, you know? It might not be perfect, but this is the first time using Inky, and the more and more I use it, the more I'll learn. And, you know, maybe down the road we'll have a better idea. But this feels pretty good. So, yeah, let's try to do this. Um, it's all about finding the 80% solution for the 20% part. It's not going to do it. And I think, I think actually you can do um, this syntax we saw earlier. It's like... over here but like there's like a thing that we could do so I don't have to type it out and then I fuck up a letter and then it's bro it was my very equals okay that's what it was like that, or do I have to do full turn? Seems kind of sus. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll see what works.
Okay, let's go into Unity. Let's fucking do this shit. If I can get this shit done before I go to bed, I'm gonna be happy. This is a weird, this is a weird one, man. Don't know who lied me or find, bro. <laughs> Okay, um, what do we need to do in here? So yeah, you, you gave a good solution, it was like... Let's do it the dumb way first, because that's the only way I can do these things. Do it in a way I can understand. So, current story dot... Um, what you say, you this man is in the documentation, I know you are. Current story dot set path. And story dot the state dot set path, or did you just type in pseudo code? Did you pseudo code? No. <laughs> How do I set it? <laughs> what is this? What, what did I use before? It was, uh... Choose path string? I want, right? Choose path string. Okay, I, I actually do not know how to get up. We will. Yeah, choose path string. That's sorry. That's what I wanted there in the. That's that. Come on, find. Do work for me, please. Variable state. Is there like a set state? Is it not like about this? The variable state object contains all the global variables in the story. However, note that there is more to the state of a story than just the global variables. Cannot convert. Do I just need to cast it into a string? Perhaps? You likely just need to cast it to a string. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Unity. C Sharp has no idea what the fuck it's accessing here. Okay, um, cool. Let's try it. Oh, 
<laughs> it didn't like this little uh, up arrow thing. Super script. Let's just do this for a sec, and we'll we'll figure that out. I want I want to see something actually work. There's also another issue, but. That works. What are you waiting for? Good catch trips. Okay, so our other issue is that um, played the what are you waiting for the first time. We don't want that. So I suppose we can just do this here. Um, this is kind of a shit. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, but... Wait, 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 wait. Can we just do this? No, we can't do that. Right, that's what you meant. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, okay. So you can't... I'm just a little afraid if... So what happens now if we like talk to him, we advance like a line, exit out, and come back. Oh, weird. Okay. That somehow works? What is it setting the repeat point to? It's, it's setting it to like a main, but that doesn't exist, so it just doesn't do anything. Is that what's happening? I'm surprised that works, but I guess it does. A little sketchy, a little sketchy. But hey. Okay, now the. The reason this is so cool is it makes saving. Yeah, I'm not sure what this would do if it set it to empty. I guess it's just like nothing, but I feel like even that like worries me. Or only running the C-Shark code when you reach an end. That's actually, yeah, I should probably do that. That seems pretty smart. Because also, uh, well, 
Also, well, actually, this is dumb. This is another dumb thing going on. So say say I come up and I talk to this guy. Welcome to Zen Fisher, and I progress one click, and I exit out. If I go talk to him now, it's still on the second line of text. It should go back to the start, right? I don't think games like save every line you progress through normally. It saves in like patches, right? True, true. Yeah, yeah. That's that's weird. So. To me, I feel like I feel like I should just start it inside of a knot. Um, How do I do this thing? Oh, but then that's gonna actually no 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 that should be fine I think that should be fine right Feels not the greatest, but it's it's pretty good. <laughs> it's definitely an eighty percent solution. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Is there a better way of doing this. Well, actually, now that I think about it, when I press escape, I don't think exit dialog is running. Buddy? Yeah, actually, no. Well, yeah, that wouldn't work. Then. Yeah. That's why it worked earlier. Oh, yeah. So when I press escape, dude. I I should be organizing my code better, but I'm sorry you have to see this right now, but it's gonna get ugly. <laughs> Cause I just want to do this the easy way. Toggle player options. I need to probably reorganize how I do all these like menus and shit, menu closed. Let's make a function called close. Uh. Let's type out what I actually want and then we'll see where to put it.
You're working from home today, Thurl? Nice. That's that's why you've been uh you're you're working on Inky today, that's what you were working on. <laughs> no meetings, hell yeah. Dialogue manager instance dialogue NPC. Um then we just need to do um some dialogue yeah, dialogue. Would you, okay, do you have any suggestions on how to make this a little cleaner? Cause I'm just like, I'm running this from like a UI manager, right? Like if I press escape and now I'm like, if the dialog is open, then I'm gonna like run this exit dialog mode function. Would you like create like some event type system that you subscribe to and then like do it that way instead? Or sorry, like an action, like a unity action? This feels a little, this feels pretty clunky overall, what I'm doing right here. Basically, if it's open, if the dialogue is open, then we exit dialogue code if we press escape. That's what I'm doing right there. You mean how to invoke? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just asking, like, do you think it would be cleaner to invoke? Exit dialogue mode. Rather than call it directly like that. Okay, so yeah, we escape. So now that hopefully you actually set it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, dude, now it makes the next part so easy, though. It's a difficult question to answer. Okay, well, we won't get to that, then. I'm just gonna keep it like that. It's a little clunky, but it works. I think it's pretty robust. It should, it should be fine. I mean, I, I... Yeah, no, I get that, I get that. I also respect you for saying that. Because some people will overshare, even though I'm, I'm literally asking. <laughs> I, I feel like if I do that, though, I should be like... Like, if current story is, like, null... I don't know. Whatever, dude. I don't care. <laughs> Probably gonna have so many bugs in this game. So many like weird bugs, because I'm not validating things very well. But at least it, you know, it tells me where the references are. I know it's there, and if I want to change it later, I will. Okay. Should work in principle, though. The last thing that I want to do tonight, I hope, is save. We're going to save some data real quick. And it should be really easy now because, right, we have our, okay, we have our story asset. We're just doing one at a time still. We have our story asset. We have our current story. And we have our story index. This we're not going to use right now. So all we're going to do is save the story itself. Now we're going to use the NPC ID. This is the story index. And then we're just going to name this story.
current story. Let's say is ambiguous between the following methods or properties. Let's see. So if we don't have any data to load, then we just basically create one from scratch of the asset, and then we set it to the current story. It seems fine. Okay. Um, yeah, we're doing it right there, but now so load data should be getting called now every time. Okay. Yeah, so this should work. <laughs> Probably not. Probably uh, we'll just fail miserably and I'll be here for two hours and I'll get nothing done. But uh, that's just how it goes. Isn't it? What happened to the music? Oh, well, I'm almost done with stream. So let's start this over. All right, dude. So let's try this. We're basically going to go in here and we're going to talk to this guy. Uh oh. Well, something didn't work. Load data. That's getting called, right? Let's do like that. Look at this Unity Enjoyer, J-Host, dude, what's up? Uh, yeah, what choice do I have, man? Can Unity just take back everything they did? I'm guessing you heard of all the shit that happened, right? Oh, wait. That worked. Uh, <laughs> it's curious. Okay, so right, we're we're at the what are you waiting for? Go catch a fish part. So now let's exit out of the game. Let's restart it. In our way, the same place. Of course, we're not. Of of course, <laughs> awesome, dude. Is it? Oh, wait, I think actually, I think I know why. Actually, no.
Yeah, I did, dude. Yeah, everyone heard about that shit. Like, it's crazy, dude. It's like mainstream news. <laughs> Never thought like news about Unity would be like mainstream news. Like, when does that shit ever happen? Let's look in our uh, manual save file. Oh, it's not saving anything. Oh, 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 I think I know why. Yeah, I think we need to do that dot to JSON here. Otherwise, it's just fucking saving some random gibberish. What are you what have you been up to, J host? What you doing in life, bro? Fuck. Oh, something didn't work. Wait, what? Why is it saying that? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Here's a story. So at least it's it's doing something. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, do I have to like decode it somehow? Is it? Oh! Is it just not loading the data? Why- also, why is my, uh, debugging not, not working? Fuck. Let's just, oh, maybe it's just not hitting that point? If it's not hitting that point, then, uh... You've been playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre? The game? I don't think I ever played that game. Oh wait, something is going on. NPC spawned... Line 25? Why does it keep going to here? I was like, why is it... Line 25. Wait, what?
Hold on. Oh my god. Wait, I think I just realized I'm doing something really stupid. Oh my god. On the load data, I'm calling save data. Awesome. <laughs> so stupid, dude. Jesus Christ. I've been trying to convince people to pick up Unreal Engine just to get more C++ streams. How hard do you think it is to switch from C Sharp to C++? Jeez, okay. Now I got a new error. 30, line 31. Load data. Oh, something's null. Okay. Oh, wait, NPC data is null when it's loading? Oh. Fuck, man. How do I deal with this, dude? JDog, just use NPC data asset. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. My man J Dog, dude, coming in hot. Seeing people suck if you see plus plus could be fun. There's a learning curve to get some bad assumptions from C-Sharp, but with proper studying, you can be okay. I see it, okay. Save data would probably need to use NPC data if you're using that for dialogue. Oh shit, you're right. Oh, that's kind of, that's pretty subtle, that's ass. We're using the NPC ID here, which I could use the asset there, but this the current story though, yeah, we definitely need to save that. Thanks. We're in the home stretch right now. If this works, I'm going to bed. Okay. Welcome to Zen Fisher. And you have a lake. Okay, we get through conversation one. Now we're back to this repeating conversation. What are you waiting for? This repeats over and over. Okay. Check it out. Start it up. No! Wait, okay, I think I'm getting an error. Oh, I'm getting... Trying to load data. Oh, it doesn't like the data. It doesn't like this load method. Or this type of data, apparently. Is there like, do I need to do like a read JSON or something? Doing new story on load? No, that's just the default value. This is the default value for um, for loading. 
I could, I could, I should probably type this. Yeah, it's just trying to grab, I mean, it's just trying to grab this data here. Right, so I, I did the two, I used the inky function called to JSON. That's the story right here, this stuff right here. So it's there. We see our variable repeat point. We see the whole story and everything. I just want to save the story index. I mean, yeah. CCL says you gotta switch to Playmaker, man. Ooh, I don't know about that. I did see your um your Discord though. That's awesome. Can perhaps is it is it a dot exe? I would try it unless it's a dot exe. Otherwise, I'm probably not gonna try it on stream. Nah, I mean, Playmaker's good, but, like, I don't know, it just depends how much you want to be able to customize. We're doing some really fucking custom shit right now, that's for sure. You probably just want to save the old, the story index. Yeah, that I'll probably get to that at some point, but right now I'm just doing the easy way of, like, uh, trying to save the whole story and load the whole story, like, directly in. I, I don't know though, J-Dog. Maybe, maybe it's easier if I just do this and set it immediately after. Like at this point. Story state. Oh, it's just saying take the state. Is that what I should do? The story state like that? What does this even do? What if I need to save? We were doing this thing with like a repeat point earlier. What if I need to know this? Is the state going to be aware of this? It's an EXE the same way Unity builds it on my itch as if it's just something. How else would you publish it? Oh, I mean, no, I wouldn't publish it any other way unless you're doing like web development. I was just saying, usually like I, even though I trust you 100%, I, um, if I ever download like a, exe from somebody um from stream then i usually would do it on a virtual machine that's all i'm saying just because there's fucking people out there that could be malicious and you never know but um i do want to check it out though so i'll probably I'll, I'll download it off stream at some point and um, check it out on a virtual machine Surely that's included in state. Oh, that's a really good idea, Therolf. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you guys are right. I should have a both chats window, huh? So that you guys can see both YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, I'll have to do that. Well, let's try it. Um, so then instead of saving the whole story, we would just say, I, what is the default state though for a story? 
I get so confused when you talk to YouTubes. Fuck. Alright, yeah, if, if it's confusing like that, then I don't want to have to do that anymore. Oh, whoops. Um... So then I can do s at least this is state. That state. I don't understand like. Wait, so when we save this, we do... Actually, isn't this what it was? Yeah, I was saying mystory.state.2json. Okay. So we save it like that. Ugh. Like this. That's really awesome, though, CCL. I definitely want to check it out. Do you have any screenshots or anything? I know you shared this before. You guys can check out the game he's been working on, Playmaker, getting things going. It kind of reminds me of Muck. Have you ever played Muck before? <laughs> Looks pretty good. You got fighting and everything going on. Story state, that's what it is. Okay. Story state. Not be assigned. Uh How do you set the story state, dude? Also, NPC current story, we can't do anything in, in load data. It's, it's not created yet. This is such a fucking nightmare, dude. Maybe that was the issue the whole time? It was giving me an error on that line. What was the error? That was probably the error, dude. Oh no, it had like an ES3 reader problem actually, so there might have been two problems going on. Dude, this is so annoying. Okay, let's just, let's just debug this part. You need looks like ass to use. I mean, it's not compared. I mean, it's it's fucking game dev. Like, what do you expect? But uh, it's it's worse and. Unreal Engine 5, in my opinion. It's 
just even more more shit more libraries to learn oh i'm using so many things i'm using easy save 3 i'm using inky i'm using ui toolkit i'm using so many things but in the long run, it will be much, much easier to use those things than make any custom shit myself, so... I gotta learn them. Thanks again so much, man. Wouldn't be here without your tuts. Uh, I haven't played Muck. Video from YouTube and screenshots on my itch link. Oh, okay. Let's check out the itch link at least. Yeah, we could look at that. There's barely any content outside of the physics movement combat, but it's very robust and has that superhuman element. Dude, yeah, I mean, you know, just get that shit out there, and, uh, it's good to, like, go through this whole process, man. I can't, I can't explain how valuable it is. Like, I don't see people doing this nearly often enough, so. It, it you know, you get through that whole process of, like, this is what I need to do to publish a game. Now you can, you can update it to beta. Alpha to beta, dude. Okay, did we play this? Yeah, we did. Um, so, sure. You know. So, it's printed out a story state. Oh, okay, okay. Look, look what it has. Uh, has a bunch of shit. Current flow, current tags, current text. Okay, this looks like everything. He's trying to save an inky story using easy save. The border between the libraries are causing friction. Oh yeah, definitely. A lot of friction there. Okay, this this has everything though. Like variable state. This is what I was really worried about. Global, I think it's global variables. Repeat point is welcome. Let's fucking go. Okay, so story state has it. We verified. You feel like the mic's a little low? Is it? It's about the same as usual. Okay, what do you guys? So I need I need J Dog and I need Thorold for, for one last thing. Oh my God, it's one of seven. Yeah. I'm sorry if Mike's a little low. I don't know what I did. Did I, did I touch something? I can turn it up a little bit. Is that better? <laughs> Try that. Should be a little better. Okay. Um, the last thing you guys, so, so obviously like NPC spawn is not being created. It's not being instantiated until after loading data happens. So I guess there's probably a few different ways I could fix this, but what do you guys think is the best way to do it? I could try to cache this in like, like I, I could try to just make like a load story state or something. Like that. And then, you know, I do npc data dot current story equals new story. And then we do npc data dot current story dot state. Does this work? Equals load story state. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Ugh. I forgot I can't assign this, dude. Ugh. Could you repeat that? Well, I'm loading in the data, but this asset, like this NPC data asset needs to get instantiated here. And that hasn't happened yet. So I'm trying to find a way to get around that and like set, set it after it uh, is instantiated. But I think I could just do this where I cache like a value and then set it, right? It's probably easy enough.
Can I create a story from a state? <gasps> no. Uh. My story dot state dot load JSON. Is that what I need to do? going on with this? Why doesn't it like it? It's not telling me. Hey, quick question. Have you heard of Flax Engine? I think I heard of it in the last few days, but I know pretty much nothing about it. Is it possible to move the timings around so NPC data is instantiated on awake and load data is called on start? Um, I possibly could do that. Not convert ink time dot story state to string. Oh. Do I need to do like two? To JSON or to string? Bro, that feels so bad. There's no way, right? Is that actually how you're supposed to do it? So much stupid figuring out tonight, man. What did it... Didn't like something again. Line 23. Something's not... Well. Dude, I'm, I'm losing it, man. Yes, 3.load should load in a string, specifically a JSON string. Oh yeah, it had it had problems here. Yeah. I think you're right. Something's going on. Change loaded story state into a string. Yeah, that's I think that's what I need. So yeah, this is to JSON. Okay, then we just need like... Text. 
I uh... I, I don't have to do this default value. I guess that works. It's fucking weird though. Okay, we for once we did not get a an error on load. So that's a good first sign. What are you waiting for? Go catch a fish. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna build up the hype. Let's go look in the uh This is the story. That just saved. So we know it's saving. Okay, it loaded without error. <gasps> Boys, we fucking did it, dude. There is no better feeling, man, than coming full circle on a coding adventure. Now, I have about 10 trillion things I need to go back and change to make this all work better. <laughs> so that I can scale it out, but this is looking pretty nice. I mean, dude, how hype is that, though? Like, we can just write out, like, so much shit here. Load it straight into the game, and then we're just chilling. So, yeah, obviously, the next thing to do will be, like, we need to go catch a fish. And then when we catch the fish, we need to set the repeat point to caught fish, I guess. Yeah. All right. All right, dude. You guys, the Rolf man. I'm glad you were working from home today because you helped me out so much. Thank you, sirs. All right. Um, J Dog. Me, oh yeah, me and J Dog. We talked earlier on Discord too. We got some. Uh, we had some really good brainstorming about how to do all this data handling. I'm also working on kind of fixing the back end for the data handling, but part of that was doing this um, I persistible that I got going now. So I have integrated that. The thing is, I, I still need to switch over the um, the inventory and gear containers, but I'm a little bit shaky on how exactly I'm going to do that, just because, like, for the load all data and save all data, I'm using this, like, find objects of type to get all the eye persistible behaviors, but they're not mono behaviors, so I don't know how that's going to work. Anyways, if anybody knows off the top of their head, you can DM me on Discord, and I'll give you a cookie. Oh, hey, tech support. Dude, I'm just, uh, just peacing out. I don't know if you've been here, but beep beep back to you. I'll, uh, I'll see y'all in probably two days. I should be live. Kind of normal schedule on Tuesday. No worries, I really enjoy talking about the code. Distracts me. <laughs> yeah, I know how that'd be. All right, dudes.